Hopefully it shows up. I am so mad at the world right now. I'm so mad at the world right now. That is disgusting. What are my controls? I'm gonna make fucking die. This seems very not conducive to. Because there's always an ad. Everything I hate. Everything I hate. Uh, oh. Is that better? Shit! I looked out from the screen for three seconds! Oh my god, go away, go away, go away! I don't like this! fucking door fuck you why why dramatic music what's going on <laughs>
didn't even answer the door, they just busted in! <laughs> You don't want items. You're too cool for items. <laughs> oh, that dude. Your name's Buck. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Just that homeless guy. Well, put on more clothes then, Buck, and then you won't be cold, I guess. It's abandoned. Hell if I know, some lawsuit or something. I don't really care. What are they going to do with it? You sure are curious. And sell it maybe. Until then, we get to sit around and get paid for it. Let's go in. I really have no interest in this. But okay. This is the main hall. This, this got me a bad time. Uh, why, why am I walking behind? Okay. Stay behind me. Come on. I'm coming! Now I'm ahead of you. See? Fuck you. Okay. Let's have a quick look. Alright. Follow me. I am literally right behind you and I walk faster than you. This is the main elevator. With it, you can access every floor in the sector. You need to make a couple of rounds up there each night. Just to satisfy our boss, nothing actually happens. Oh, you're just setting me up for failure, Buck. I don't like you. Another elevator. It leads to the lower sector. Oh, Jesus, titties. <laughs> this one is locked tight, and only the best employees had access to it. No need to patrol there. The door ahead leads to the war warehouse. 
warehouse. I'm going to the warehouse because fuck you. I'm not going to the warehouse apparently. Oh, I don't like that. This is your workstation. The security office. Let's go in, shall we? <coughs> this place is disgusting. You are disgusting. This is it. There's a couple of cameras set up in this place, but like I said, you need to make rounds each night. Now go to your room in the apartments building and get your gear in the closet. Here are the keys to the facility. After that, come straight back here. Your shift starts immediately. Okay. Is it? In, is your apartment in the middle of like creepy ass woods? <laughs> Go on, leave me alone. Well, okay, bye. Bye, nerd. Oh, hey, look, a person. Hey, a wall person. Oh, hi, I didn't realize Buck and I had company. I'm the new security guard, Tom. Nice to meet you. I apologize if I startled you. You didn't startle me because you're not creepy looking. I mean, so what do you do here? I take care of the place, keep it from falling apart. Why would they need this place clean? There's nobody here but us. You sure like asking questions, don't you? Yeah, I've been getting that a lot recently, or lately. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to leave now. I've prepared a room for you. It's on the first floor. The seventh room on the left. You'll find the uniform and your gear in the closet. I don't want to keep you. Go ahead. Nice meeting you. Okay, you're just going to stare at me as I go do things. Oh, that was an elevator noise. Oh, do I have to... Oh god, one of these is gonna open it, I'm gonna shit myself. Okay, well, I guess we're back. Why is there a pile of freaking... That looks like garbage. Can I just take a nap? Can I just fall asleep? <laughs> No, that's because I uh, apparently can't door well. Can I just pick up? <laughs> oh, 
that's very realistic to my actual life. I cannot do that. Doctor. Hello. How are you feeling today? Fine. It's fun being with you. How are you? Busy as ever, I'm afraid. What do you think of your new home? It's perfect, Doctor. Is there any way I could help you? It would be no We're trouble. We're going to be seeing each other quite a bit over the next few weeks. I'm hoping that you can cooperate with me and answer some questions. Of course. Let's begin with some basic questions. What day is it? It's Monday. Good. And do you know the time? 10.05 a.m. Great. And what's the square root of 3,844? 62, Doctor. Impressive. Where are you from, dear? Can you remember? What's your name? I feel... Answer my questions. What are you feeling? Are you all right? Sorry. I'm fine, Doctor. How may I help you? It's just you and me now. I need to know why you hurt him. I, mean, I didn't, Doctor. You've become very difficult. I'm sorry. How could I help you? Tell me now! You're being very rude. We're closing the facility. That's terrible. Indeed. Okay. This will be the last time that we meet. I am down for the leaving, Tom. Get the fuck out of here. How do you want to leave? Oh, hell yes. Wait, no, I don't want to go back to Dreamland. Oh, Dreamland's fun. So, me and my roommate were playing it, and I'm sitting here, and we're like, I woke up the next morning, and I was like, back really hurts. I must have been sitting in the same position for too long. And so we're sitting around and it's just like, okay, now this is definitely a different fan. I don't know what's going on. And we eventually go and sit back down to start playing it again. And I get into the same position and I'm just like, uh oh. Oh, I threw out my back playing a goddamn video game if that's not the most stupid ass geeky ass thing that I've ever heard in my life. Me to do game. Oh, my God. Oh, I know. The story is so messed up. I legitimately feel bad for draw. What the fuck was that? Oh. Uh. You seem to be having an issue with me. Oh! Oh, this is not getting better. Ah! Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's not alive anymore. Do I have my flashlight? <laughs> oh god, somebody's whispering to me. I'm out. Okay, bye. Oh, look, I'm awake! <laughs> Oh, I seem so sad. Tom is a sad boy. Do you, do you want a shower? Do you want to be clean boy? No? Do you want your old clothes? Is 
that that sounds suspicious you You would? <laughs> I just left. <laughs> um, it was great. I wandered around the apartment. It's really cut off. How come you even took a job at such a remote place? Though? I needed to get away from everything and save up some money. I guess this is the way from everything as it gets. Trouble from the past? Yep. How did you end up here? I have been here for as long as I can remember. And you just stayed here after they shut down? And nobody go back? To Not anymore. He used to work here. After the place closed down, he just disappeared. Oh. Ha that's not good. Sounds like a great guy. You kind of look like him. Oh. Well, you have good taste. <laughs> not like I have a choice. Moving on. Have you tried the arcades here? No. Not yet. Anyways, I should get back to work. You sure don't want to stay a little bit longer? This place isn't going anywhere. Dude, I want to chill with her. Make friends, you fuck. I guess I can stay a little longer. How long do you plan to work here? As long as they need me. Gives us time to get to know each other. Ah. Not if you get me fired. I really need to go back to work. We can do this again sometime. Sure, don't get lost. I'm going to get lost. Why do you say that? I'm going to play a game.
Wake up so sad every morning, Tom. And you never shower nor brush your teeth. And that's horrifying. Why are the days ominous? Where the frick is Buck?
Why is your shift always over? No, you want to know what? Fuck you. We're going to stay around. I still haven't checked out the third floor. And that's what we're going to do. Basically, Tom passed out and then woke up in a police station, which I'm assuming is a part of his past life that he's trying to get away from. And then there was a giant monster and a hand grabbed him. So I don't know. <laughs> God. been spending a lot of time with one of the employees here. I can always make time to socialize, Doctor. Do you know who I'm referring to? Jim. Do you like Jim? Of course. He is a very nice person. What do you like about him? Jim is very kind. And what do you like about him physically? Jim is in good physical condition. Also, his eyes are large. And colorful. You care about him, don't you? I care about everyone very much. You too, Doctor. It's normal for you to begin developing feelings for someone. In, in fact, you should feel that way. We would just like to have a few more conversations with you like this before you become more attached to anyone. Will you do that for me? Uh... Yes, Doctor. Sad when that comes true. <sighs> oh, I didn't have any nightmares. Yay.
my god, where am I going? <laughs> oh shit! a bad time. Bad. Bad time. The fuck? Eve, what did, did you do this? How? Tell me. Oh! Okay. This fucked me up. Everyone's just fucking me up. Where am I? Okay. What? I'm so confused. I tried so hard to drop it on his head and it wouldn't let me. See if I can put on clothes. He walks happier when he's clothed. Heck yeah. Clothes. I put my clothes on. Oh, you got me breakfast. Oh, I'm so going into storage. Oh, oh, I hope she is. Her, her name's Eve. I'm sure she was the second one that was made, and she ate Adam. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Heck yeah, I'm going in the storage. Let me in the storage! That's rude. like a heavy box. Oh, hey, look. Look at this convenient heavy box. <laughs> oh, I gained a glass shard. Am I, Am I gonna stab Eve? Stab my maybe one. Yay, I can go in the storage. Oh, there's a dead body in the storage. Oh, that's that's not what's supposed to be there. Eve. Eve. We need 
you talk about the dead body. Eve. Eve, you're gone. I'm uncomfortable. You're gonna eat me. Like you ate Adam. You also totally promised breakfast and breakfast is not Oh, that's the heavy duty door. Uh, am I supposed to do something? Am I supposed to stab the dead body? I'm gonna go stab the dead body. Hey, dead body. Stab the dead body. Fine. Can't stab my maybe wife. Can't stab the dead body. Imagine dead body land. Oh. 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 Dead body in there? Am I supposed to stick a glass shard in there? Oh my god! Uh, I'm sorry in advance, I did not realize that was going to happen. I thought it was going to stick it in the thing. I do not know what's happening anymore. I apologize in the advance for the, or I guess in remembrance. Oh god, she's gonna stab me. Oh god. Oh lordy, what is happening? I have made a mistake. Holy shit! Oh, she's setting me on fire. Oh my god! Is she cauterizing all the wounds? Holy shit, she's cauterizing! That's it for the night. <laughs>